Meanwhile, residents of the south in the Matra district are still recovering from the incident that shook the peace of an Islamic holiday celebration in commemoration of the Holy Prophet's birthday on the 10th of March 2009. As the government looks at how to reduce such violent incidents from happening in future, civil society organizations must consider the risk they face in organizing public events such as this. We take a look at what this involves in our next report. The National Milad Council of Matara had put their hearts into organizing the National Milad Festival of 2009. The objective was to promote peace and unity on this holy day, the birth anniversary of the Prophet Muhammad. From near the Matra Jumma Mosque, a motorcade of some 200 vehicles began the peace drive. Representatives of civil society organizations and religious organizations, as well as their leaders, participated in the motorcade. The motorcade took them through the countryside and past southern villagers which have long been home to Sinhala and Muslim populations. Valigama, Telijavila, Akurasa, and finally to Godapitiya. Here they were joined by local and national politicians to accompany them on the final phase of the march to a public meeting that was to be held outside the Godapitiya Juma Mosque. Led by cultural performers, the procession was about to enter the premises of the Godapitiya Mosque when the explosion took place. Fourteen people were killed and over 40 injured in the blast that day. The wounded were rushed to hospitals in Matara and in Colombo. Among the senior government representatives who were injured, is Minister Mahinda Vijay Sekharan, Minister for Posts and Telecommunications. At a press conference the next day, Minister of Mass Media Lakshmanya Pabevadana condemned the incident and stressed the need to be more vigilant. उत्साह उपदेश